You know how people just so used to. <laughs> you know how people just so. <laughs> you know how your 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 friends and you and those who support you just so used to like just liking your stuff. Like they just they just scroll through their their social media posts and just like some things. It's like yeah, I, I like it. Love it. Send some hearts. Send some thumbs. Just because it's you. That's what's up. <laughs> I appreciate it. However, uh, if you can't hear me, then let me know. Because <laughs> otherwise, I'm 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 gonna be a me a mime. I'm gonna be a mime. Um. So, but what we gonna talk about? I am Kim Tracy, your transcendence coach and spiritual consultant. Okay. With all of the shifts and all of the superpowers that y'all got, you know, I'm surprised. I'm not. I don't see none of y'all flying around me right now. You know what I mean? I thought sure I was gonna see a couple of you, you know, howling at me outside my window, but I guess that's not really what it's about. Okay. So um if you haven't done anything right now, okay, we've already entered into the new year. The winter solstice always starts the new year, okay? If you do it on the first of January, you already behind the energy curve. And that can be good and bad, depending on what you're doing, right? So I always like to say if you are um, if you are engaging in some things that um, in order to uh, propel, prepare, you, propel, hello, if you are engaging in some things in order to propel your life forward in a more positive way. Thank you, brother. <laughs> thank you, brother. Thank you. All honor. Great rising to you. Great rising to you. But if you are engaging in some things um, in order to propel you into a more um a more positive focus okay or if you are doing some things in order to really um support your uh trajectory or support your growth okay where are you uh, where where are you aspiring to go right now right and mentally you should already be there though is the thing okay if you are aspiring or desiring to attain something or um, to do something very specific, okay? Because I was talking to um, I was talking to my my bestie about trying, okay? The act of trying, trying is it means you're going somewhere, okay? You're doing something in order to attain a thing, okay? Now when you're already there, then that's different, right? And maybe some things around you have to play catch up and that's okay because mentally you're already there. So that means your focus is already rooted. Your focus is already grounded. You are already where you are. Okay. Um, shifting your, your current positioning into, does that make sense? Okay. So what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is this, right? So you have your goals, you have everything that you are, um, that you are doing in order to re reach a set tangible outcome, right? And it may be a dollar amount. It may be an item. It may be a look. It may be um, a, a persona. It doesn't matter. It may be a certificate, a piece of paper. It may be a title, okay? So what happens is in order for you to to, uh, to actually stand in that frequency of the energetic of the thing that you are, um, that you are curating for yourself, curating right now, right? You have to be in that mind state now, okay? So that translates into you have to um, do the things that you would do have, had you been in that position right now. You have to talk the talk. You have to dress the dress. Okay. You have to do all of the things that, that you would be doing if everything around you was conducive to that, um, to that energetic state. Does that make sense? So if you're not doing anything, um, with these, um, with the current shifts that we are, we are, um, all expanding into right now, then you should absolutely have it already a visual interpretation 
representation, replica. You should see it in your imagination, okay? When you close your eyes at night, you should already see exactly who it is you are, okay? Regardless of whether or not that looks like what you are right now today, okay? If it is to lose 10, 15, 20 pounds, then you should be visualizing the slim trim you, hello? You should see yourself already positioned. You should see yourself as you are aspiring or attaining to be, right? Because that's how you get from here to there, okay? What happens is it's an external representation for your focus. So, well, what happens is you begin to, um, when you see whether it's you're desiring to experience um, a real um, a real sacred partnership or whether you want to tap into um, making 10 stacks a month a week <laughs> or whether it is you're um, you're really desiring to to find that dream house or to live in this this dream location okay so what I'm saying is you have to see yourself there already. If you are trying to sell something, you have to see it sold already, okay? You have to see it sold. And, and you have to um, engage as if it is already done. Because when you do it like this, when you do it in this way, you are in resonance to the energy that you are aspiring or you are um, um, expanding toward. You are in alignment, Everything that is yours, it can't help but come to you because you are that. You have to be that of which you desire, okay? You have to be that, right? So, um, I trust that makes sense. Great dawn and love. Hey, mama, I love you so much. You're so awesome. <laughs> I love you, mom. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. So, I want to welcome everybody in the space. Um, feel free to come in the room, share, share some conversation with me because I know I have not been in this space for a little while. Um, I've really been paying attention to and spending some time with my own reflections, hello, because that's vital, especially now. So um, I would love to hear where you are, where you are currently, where you are shifting to. What are you holding space for right now? What are you curating? What are you cultivating? Okay. What are you um, aspiring towards? What are you being presently? You have to be it now. Okay. I feel like every year I come on and I say, if you're getting ready, you're already wrong. I feel like I say that every year at the start of the new year, if you're getting ready, you're already behind a power curve. Okay. And it doesn't take preparation. Not necessarily so. You have to get there with your with your mind state first, okay? If you already think that you that you are um, at a disadvantage, then you are. If you think that you are at a um, um, if you aren't enough for what it is that you're doing, then you are, okay? And everybody can come and gather around you. I mean, have a moment of silence or speak it with all speak it loudly okay and in order to coerce you or to encourage you that you are enough everybody can come in in order to support you but if you feel like you are flawed in any way or that you are undeserving or if that you are, are not enough for or it that or simply you just can't do it you won't you won't do it why because you are the most powerful player in your experience you always will be Yes, and I understand, you know, we have our loved ones that we are here to support and nourish and provide um, encouragement to, yes, as we traverse this realm together. But still, it would not be your creation if you wasn't present in it. So you are the most important. You are the MVP of your life, regardless to whether credit or where you give credit to, okay? It's all about you. So what are you holding in your mind? Like you have to see yourself in that, standing in that position, okay? Already flourishing. I mean flourishing, no. I don't. I didn't say trying or striving toward. I didn't say that. Even though that may be your current disposition, that's okay. You have to see yourself 
present in that and being what it is that you are designed to ascertain for yourself. You have to. When you do this, you start moving like that, right? So if you are if you are stuck and, and firm in your current position, then you will always move in your current, with your current way of thinking. You will always move in and amongst, around, underneath your current way of thinking. You can help it. But if you are showing up as the you that have attained all of the things that you said you wanted to do now, you got to listen to what I'm saying, okay? Because I know it sounds, it sounds a little different. But I'm telling you, it's a purpose, it's a point, and there's an alignment to a thing, okay? When you begin to stand in the position that you are desiring to attain, I mean, just totally be that. Whether whether or not your um, your current surroundings reflect it back to you or not, it doesn't matter. You have to be that. When you do, you get in the mind state of that of that state of being. You will start moving and engaging with the mind state of that state of being. That is the only way your current now reality will begin to reflect to you exactly what it is that you are aspiring to. I trust that makes sense. If you think you're missing it, you missed it. Okay. If you think you still have to do all of the things, then you do have to do all of the things. Okay. It's all up to you. But if you really know that you're already there, then you're there. You'll start showing up. You will show up. As you already have and everything that is in likeness to that will come to you it can't help it I said before y'all you're a big ass magnet and I know it's like man I'm not a magnet I'm me we ain't got a debate about it try it out for yourself and see okay so what to do with this energy right now you ain't got to do nothing <laughs> not for real Okay, you ain't got to do nothing. Mm. But I will tell you, because you set you set the stage on what's what's um what's good, bad, right, or wrong for your life. Okay, for your creation, you set that up. You do. You set it up. Y'all know we live beneath the laws and the rules of the country, the county, the state, the city that we live in, and there are rules that we abide by by this dimension. Yes, absolutely. However, your consciousness causes you to have your own internal values, those morals, those guidelines, and those things that you really, really um, hold dear and near to your heart. Okay, It's a reflection. It's reflected back to you in everything that you do. You can't help it, right? Because this is how we set some standards for ourselves. Okay, This is how we set some foundation for ourselves, right? We do it. We're taught in a way. We're taught how to when you were younger. When you were infant, depending on who you was raised by, it doesn't matter, okay? You was raised by something, whether it was the streets or whether it was your, your parents, okay? You was raised by something. So, um, you was given a foundation, and if you said, okay, yeah, this is this is congruent to who I am, how I feel energetically, although it might not come out like that, you start engaging in things and those those people around you and your environment in that way because you have a moral code. You have values that are rooted. You have things that are seated and you will not be swayed. We all do. Okay? Some of us, we change our minds all the time. And that's okay too because why? You get to choose. You get to change those things. You get to say what it is, what's your, what's your good, bad, what's your left and right limit, like what's your boundaries, like what it is or how it is you want to show up right now. You get to say that or you get to agree to it. Because somebody else can say it for you. And you get to say, yeah, yeah, I want to, I want to do, I want to, yes, that, what she said, right there, all of that. I want those values, those morals. I want to live by those in order to see what trajectory my life ends up on, right? Yes? Absolutely. So when you do that, though, so that's why I say you don't have to do anything with these energies. You don't have to do nothing, okay? However, is if there is a... And I don't want to incite fear, okay? So I, I sugarcoat some stuff, y'all, sometimes. But if there is a mismatch, I was able to see, I was shown very clearly what it looks like. <laughs> if there is a mismatch in alignment with what is coming through for you, 
and the trajectory for your life because you're the one who said which, what it is that you want to do, okay? If there is a misalignment in any way, then there will be chaos, right? Chaos looks like confusion, okay? You ain't got a trip because the way I was shown, it looked like an atomic bomb. But, you know, I'm dramatic, so my messages has to be dramatic for me to pay attention to them. It's just what it is, okay? I'm used to it. I've been doing this for a long time. So, but what I'm saying is, if there is a mismatch of the energies that are coming through right now for you, because, yes, you are present, okay? You are present right now in this current um, in this current dimension, okay? So, we're all experiencing collectively and individually if you ain't look around like a lot of people didn't make it this fall a lot of people didn't get here with the great conjunction okay a lot a lot of our loved ones are gone they didn't make it right to this to this point they didn't get here there's a reason for everything and it's all good although it may be uncomfortable so but what i'm saying is Whatever values or whatever morals or whatever guidelines or whatever aspirations or whatever it is you said that you wanted to do or ascertain right now for the trajectory of your life going forward, whatever you feel like you are being called to, okay? You're going to be held to that. You're going to be held to that. I love you too, mom. Right? So that looks like when you when you don't show up for you. I know we talk about a lot of a lot of other people not showing up for us all the time because it's easy. It's easy to talk about those who who don't show up or who don't support, right? Or who don't come through when we need them. And you know the haters cuz you know those people. <laughs> it's good to talk about it feels it feels like um a release in a way in order to talk about that but let's talk about what it's like when you don't show up for yourself though right because it starts with you always if you don't show up for yourself you're going to start you're going to start pulling towards you those people who won't show up for you either and i know it sounds flaky but i'm just saying what it is okay i'm just telling you what it is right when you don't show up for you you're going to draw to you the same people in likeness in, that will confirm what it is that you are already being, how it is you're already being. We talked about this in the beginning of this video. Yeah, you have to be that, right? So when you show up for yourself as it relates to your moral code, your values, what it is. I mean, I said this year I'm going to do X, Y, Z. And you have that right here. You have it forefront in your, I'm talking about in your frontal lobe. Your personality is a direct reflection of what it is I said I was going to do this year. I look like what it is that I said I was going to do this year, y'all. I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about you, right? So when you look like that, you feel like that, you show up like what it is you say you're going to do this year, then you are in alignment and congruence to self. You are, you are showing up for you. You are showing up for you. But what it looks like, what happens when you don't show up for you? What happens when you don't show up for you? You open yourself up for a whole lot of disappointment. Things start falling short. Things, it doesn't line up anymore. Kim, the shit don't look too good. I'm just saying, sis, I did all of the things and man, I might have set up for two, I might have sat down for two, three months because I wasn't feeling good. And then everything just went, it, it's disarray. It's total discord. And now I'm uncomfortable because now I got some shit I got to catch up on, Kim. Is what I'm saying is you have to show up for you all the time. We walk around with our phones in our hands often. Like keep a visual representation of what it is that you want to attain in your phone. It might be a way to look or that might be a part of it. Okay. And no, no, ladies, I get it. We don't all we don't always feel like showing up and being snazzy. Especially not just sitting around sitting around the house just chilling. Especially not going on no Facebook Live. I don't feel like putting my hair on and doing all of this, that, and the third. I don't feel like it for real. And yet, what it is that you say you wanted to attain. And sometimes it may seem like something so small. 
It's those small things that make huge, huge impacts. Y'all already know what it is. I'm talking to people who know what's happening, you know? So when you show up for you all the time, always, you will begin to not only experience others who will show up for you, you're going to start drawing those things to you that is beneficial, that you really need in order to um, ascertain everything that you said you wanted to do because you are already in that mind state. You are already there. So it's like, what I need to do with these energies that's coming through right now, Kim, they got the big conjunction. I don't even understand it all. I don't know what's going on. They talking about Saturn and Aquarius and Jupiter doing stuff. And I don't even really know what that means. You don't have to do anything but focus, focus on exactly what it is that you are being called to. Well, what I'm being called to, what it is that you are wanting to do right now. What is it? What is it for you? Right? What it is that you are being called to, um, to um, ascertain, to experience. It's all about goals. Let me tell you something. It's like, um, yes, be grateful for where you are and what you have always, right? Because gratitude. And at the same time, we're always doing things and we're always expanding and ever growing just like nature. Nature, it doesn't stop moving outside the door. Whether or not you sit at, sit inside or not, you're going to have spider webs running around your ass because nothing stops moving even when you do. Okay? So it's, it's an innate thing that happens. You can't help but grow and shift. You can't help but want things. And it's okay. You can't help but desire and to ascertain and, you know, I just want a bigger bed. Oh, you know, I just, I just want to, you know, I want to, I want a kitchen. I want my kitchen to look nice. I want to reconstruct some things. What's that going to take? Well, it's going to take this dollar amount. Well, okay. So how are we going to get that? Well, what can I do extra in order to um, get this, that, and a third? A lot of y'all sitting on gifts. Oh, because we're going to talk about superpowers. Because <laughs> I did put that in the title. Okay. So whatever. A lot of y'all sitting on gifts that only you and somebody close to you know that you have. Because you're afraid of what other people might think for one, because you might look crazy. I don't care what people say about me. It don't matter. Because you're afraid for one, what people going to say. Or two, you don't believe in yourself enough in order to stand out there. But you've seen, you've seen evidence of what it is that you can do. You've seen evidence for yourself of what it is that you can do. Of your uniqueness. And you don't even think it's something so... Oh, I could just, you know, I'm I'm pretty good at making a space look amazing, but that's not nothing. They got a lot of people on Instagram that can do that. Nobody can do it like you. Yes, there are people that will come through and do all of the things, but guess what? Can nobody do that thing that you do as well as you can because they're not you. Your unique contribution to this creation is needed. It is of great value. And you can hold on to it because choice. You can hold on to it like a vice grip. But what I'm telling you is a lot of people that is waiting for you will not get to benefit you. Will not, to, will not get to benefit from the thing that is you specifically, your unique contribution. And it could be something small and it might be something. You know somebody made the eraser? Somebody made the eraser. You know the shit that, that's on the pencil? Somebody made an eraser. Oh, we need something to write with. What shit? We need something to erase it with too. Don't ever think your um your uniqueness or your um your intuition or what you receive is of less value then. Okay. Because you're really trying to you're comparing yourself to someone else and that's not beneficial for you. Right? So we're talking about superpowers and everybody's all in the uproar and making jokes at this point. And that's good because jokes is cool, right? It allows what's unknown to be easily uh, accepted. We like to mock what we don't understand because it's easy to accept it in a way that's a little, you know, it's a little softer to eat on. Because Kim, I don't know what kind of superpowers you got because I be watching TV and they be doing all kinds of stuff, but I know that's not real, Right? But when you are allowed, when you hold on to something less tight, when you don't hold on to something so so tightly, when you hold on to it loosely, when you just let it sit there, okay? It has a way of forming and shaping that will allow it and you 
to grow together so that you are able to see exactly what it is. A lot of y'all can speak into people's lives and be accurate and are accurate with your words, but you are afraid that you won't be received. A lot of y'all have visions already of what is to come, but you're afraid of what it'll look like if you tell everybody, y'all see shit. Okay. A lot of you have power in your words. You are able to formulate and hold the prayer from somebody that will lift them beyond the sky. And you are afraid to even speak about it because you're scared that it just might not be enough. What I'm saying is, you already have it. Don't get caught in the hype saying you got to wiggle your toes or shake your ass or arch your eyebrows a little bit better in order to receive some gift. You already have it. It's really what it is now. It's turning your conscious attention to it, toward it, toward you. It's always you. I'm always sending you back to self. Always. Right? Because nothing exists without you. Nothing exists without you. Okay? So, when you turn your attention toward you, entire, I mean, everything about you, then you're able to see exactly what it is that is your gift that is just waiting for you to acknowledge it so that it can shine through. It's waiting for you. And when I say waiting for you, it's waiting for you to get your mind right. I talk about consciousness all the time and I know y'all don't get it and it's cool, but it's waiting for you to get your mind right so you can really start standing in exactly who you are. You ain't got to do all the theatrics. It's not necessary. However, comedians are a thing and they make a lot of money. Okay. So what I'm saying is what works for somebody and how they do a thing, not necessarily your cup of tea, right? You have to try different ways, how you're going to show up, how you want to show up, show up that way, right? Allow your own uniqueness to pour through you in order to share what it is, your, your contribution to the creation, because you do have powers, you do have gifts, you don't believe in yourself enough, but I'm here to tell you, if there is a misalignment, and I don't want to incite fear. I'm just telling you what I saw. Okay. If there is a misalignment or misdirection or if this, this energy that is present for you in order to build upon, for you to set as your foundation. Okay. If it's not set right, when a foundation is not set right, what happens? The whole house is rocky. Okay. When there was a misalignment, there will be chaos. You'll know it or not, whether or not, you know, six months from now, you be your life is chaotic. You already know. Well, shit, I need to do something different. Goddamn. I've been doing it this way. That was wrong. That was, I wasn't, I wasn't in alignment. Stay focused on what it is that you value the most. You can't go wrong. Stay focused with what it is you said is your current trajectory. You can't go wrong. Stay focused with what have been your moral code. You can't go wrong. I promise. I promise you cannot go wrong. You are the only one who can tell you or set something so potent up for yourself, but you have to walk that. Because what happens when you don't walk the trajectory that you said? You start creating all kinds of things in your head. You start coming up with all kinds of excuses. And at the end of the day, you end up not being enough. And guess what? Immediately, you don't feel good in your body. Immediately. You don't feel good in your body. You're sad. You're depressed. You don't feel like doing nothing. I don't feel good. My stomach hurt. My head hurt. Everything hurt. Nothing's right. The creation starts reflecting to you exactly how you feel. So guess what? You start experiencing more and more and more of those discomforts. And then you start ingesting it even more. And guess what? Your body feel even less than it did when you already just didn't feel bad. Now you feel worse is what I'm saying. Okay. Your consciousness will always be your guiding light. <laughs> your, your 
consciousness will always be your guiding light, not mine. My consciousness cannot be your guiding light. I'm not you, okay? I'm only here in order to experience what it is that you are contributing to this creation. And I can't wait. I'm always excited to see what y'all going to do next. That's why sometimes I get quiet just to see what's happening in order for me to hear exactly what needs to be said. Because I talk a lot in real life about a lot of stuff. Okay. So, um, I trust what is is received. I think I, uh, I think I touched on everything that I wanted to say, y'all. So, you already have everything that you need. You do. You really do, man. You can't go wrong. Okay. Good, bad, right, good, bad, right, wrong sits in your hands, right? What's good, a good, bad, right, wrong to me is not gonna be good, bad, right, wrong to you. It's not. It's not how it is. And sometimes it is. And sometimes we do get to traverse this realm on the same disc, like Abraham Hicks would see. Sometimes we do get to get to experience one another in a very close way, right? And sometimes we don't. So, um, so that's the word, y'all. If you found any value, I always ask you to share these videos, although I am going to chop and screw this one up. I'm not sure how long I'll keep it on the platform, but it will be as long as it needs to be always right because everything that is here for you it will always be for you always <laughs> knowledge cannot be destroyed <laughs> knowledge cannot be destroyed and what is here for you to prog progress will never be hidden from you ever ever it's not how it works that's not how the creation is set up and it won't ever be that way no matter no matter what people say so i trust what is is received thank you for being if you found any value in this content, go ahead and share. And I will talk to y'all next time. Mwah.